hey guys so now we have added the successful email sending to our app next step is we are going to play the forget password feature so first thing we need to do is we need to create the form uh, in which we are going to enter the email address and then we're going to check the email address if it exists in our database and then we'll generate a link and it will we will send it one to the email address and then we'll create the password page and then create the updating of password record now here in this page go let's add the a button so forget password and then let's start this one uh, make it look like a button so here let's add text decoration to color then uh, let's just the color and then let's change the font size and let's use inland black and then let's add the margin so here let's add an id and in our css file let's add and paste fresh so here uh, it should be an id and as you can see it's working or the style has been updated so in our href we're going to redirect to the reset password.php so let's try to create this file and then let's just grab copy paste this file inside and then let's change the title uh, also the header and then let's remove this one and the password and then uh, then here it should be a reset password so let's refresh so as you can see here we're going to capture the email address uh, the user that is registered to our system so first so now inside our script going to remove some of this so let's remove the name then here the password uh, so the email will stay and then here instead of register let's use validate email that page we um or maybe reset password the php then here let's remove this let's leave the email so let's create that file um so let's just grab some of the codes that we have so first thing is we need to have the connection to our database and then here I'm going to try to dump the data first so let's try and open the network tab so as you can see we have successfully passed the data so let's grab the one let's try to board on so it's working
so next thing is let's check if the email address exists in our um, database so if it doesn't exist that means it they are not yet registered in our system so let's just grab that code then here email address calls and then if row or if it exists then Let's try test.yahoo.com. So, password reset link sent to email. So, let's just check that one. So, in our registration database, so the user table. So, let's copy and paste. Email already exists. So, should change that one here. It should be please or so actually this one should be on the else the close should should be in the top or inside the F so uh, let's see so here email address does not exist in the system uh, views oh, copy paste uh, so actually this one should be the registration link so we switch the messages so here let's say password reset link sent so let's try and this should be true so we have that green let's try this one so this does not exist it should return an error so it's looking good so inside here is this is where we sent the password um, reset link then first is we're going to generate e token and we are going to use that one to verify that that token belongs to the user so we're going to use the binary to hex method then here let's just select our random bytes set to 16 so let's try um, copy paste that email so this will be the token so it's a random token And then here once we have the token is let's try to um, set up the reset link so here just going to update password but PHP and then the token will be this one um the message would be click the link below to reset your password and it's at the i think a break and it's append the reset link and the subject line or this would be password reset so let's just copy this one and then paste so let's remove the additional tab so the first is we need to insert the token to our database so I'm going to explain why in the next uh, in the next minute and why we need to insert it to our database so here we are going to
update the user so we'll have the update statement set the token equals the token value and then our email is equals to the email address inputted or entered by the user so this looks good then let's just try uh, before that one let's update our table since we don't have the token we need to add it first uh, after password let's name it token and it should be character let's set the length to 500 let's refresh uh, so here we need to change our mail data so the subject will be the subject and then the message will be the body of the email and same with the alternative value let's use the same value or variable and then the rest set point let's is or make this one as a hyperlink then here let's add a click here so this looks good also let's remove or change this one let's just use password reset link sent to your email so let's try so this does not exist so let's try this one uh, so we have an error let's see um, reset password token let's try to remove this one try again send tox error hmm. so here let's put that again uh, still have that error set token so actually let's remove that one try again invalid date time legal value that you just said token now let's just put that code fresh dragon um, column not found so should be uh, okay just email try um so the php miller class let's include that one uh, where's the copy and then paste email undefined so this should be email address let's try again as you can see successful message let's just check our inbox let's refresh so as you can see we have the password reset email and if we click so we still don't have this file 
we're going to create that one so here it's uh, that file um, so inside is we need to have a validation first so let's check if or get the token value first so if there is a set token parameter which is this one then let's grab the token else we'll just set the token to now for now um, so here let's just grab that and paste so let's just try to die or stop execution and then let's echo token not found something like that and let's refresh so as you can see it doesn't work so well actually we need to move this one let's delete the file and put it inside or outside the folder oops let's delete and then should be in this directory so as you can see token not bound so if we have the token site so doesn't return or it's so here we can just copy uh, this statement so we need to verify that this token exists in our database unless if it doesn't exist then that means it's not coming from our system so else no token or echo has token so exist first so we have the connection so let's add the connection and then let's exclude the file or the line so here this should be inside the backend connection so no token if we set the correct token the token exists so we are now it's looking good so let's just set the default now of the token and then here if there's no token we're going to set the token to the null value so let's dump the token if there's no or invalid token it will be set to null or empty it will be set to null so if the token is null then we'll just echo not token and then die or stop executing the script so now next thing we need to do here is let's grab this one again let's just show a form so this is the section where we can update uh, the password so set the new password so let's change all this uh, remove this tool and here update remove the one also in our front end let's remove this and then also this one so it's looking good 
subjects or the class or a placeholder so enter a new password and so now here I'm going to pass the token and then here let's remove this one fresh so try um so the back end should use update password at php so let's create that file and then let's try um so we haven't returned anything so that's why it's error so let's just Uh, this data the password and the token so we have already uh, this line uh, so this one let's copy so let's remove this then here let's token let's get the token then let's get also the password so if we let's log or dump this data so let's just grab this update statement first so here we're uh, going to set the password to be the new password and the email what not the email but where you're going to use the token as a unique uh, inside the wear clothes and then also we need to set the token to now so this way once we have already updated the password then the reset link would be invalid or would return the no token error so let's just copy this or wrap them inside the try and catch statement and then here there's an error let's just grab the error and then let's just copy and move that one to the top and then I'm going to return a successful message uh, it's a true and then here it should be email or password successfully changed and then this would be false so let's try so new password update so there's an error uh, let's remove that one so it successfully change so as you can see the password is now new password so it has changed so let's try again the process so I'm going to uh, reset my password it will send me an email and as you can see we have the token set and the email sent to us so if we click or direct it to this form and if we are going to change our password as you can see if we refresh the password has been changed so it is working now so one last thing is for the password we are going to use the password hash feature so it will be encrypted so password And then here this will be the password variable so let's try again so the no token is change or return since it is already invalid so let's send the password reset link so here's the email if we click and direct it to the update password form 
and then let's add a new password let's update and if we check our database you can see it is encrypted so basically that's it and uh, thank you